Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira service management tutorial, I'm going to talk more about the request type in Jira service management and all the details that you need to know about the Jira request or the service request type in Jira service management. So we'll go to the project settings from any of the Jira service man management project. You have to go to the project settings to get that request type. And in previous tutorial, we have understood about the creation of issue type and then associating that issue type with the request type. Now let's see what exactly or what all details are there in the request type so if you go to the request type you will see different work categories so you have the service request we have incident we have problems right so now from these work categories we can create the request type and then that request type can be used on the customer service portal here right so if you see all of these groups that I have added right so this was the service request uh, service request that uh, that has been created right or basically the request type that has been created okay this was the request type that that i custom created and associated a new issue type that was created to this request type right now in order to create a new request type let me minimize this you have multiple options right so you can create a request type or you can assign a request type okay so for example you already have a request type created you can then in the service request for example you can assign a existing request type so if i click on assign request type okay and minimize it a little bit you will see these are the existing request type that i can assign okay so i can choose say for example email request and continue and assign it okay so let me continue and then you have to confirm right so click on the confirm button and now you will see that this email request has been assigned okay but this is hidden from portal why because i haven't added it into any of the portal yet okay so understand the hierarchy issue type you can create a new issue type or use an existing issue type within Jira if it is fitting your needs to map to the request type. And then that request type will have reference to the portal and then you will be the customer will be able to see it in the portal. So now here we have created a or basically assigned a request type. OK, but haven't assigned it to the portal group. So this is one aspect of it. But say, for example, I have to create a request type. So simply what I'll do is I'll click on create request type and then I'll provide the detail. For example, this is RCV online incidents. OK, I'm trying to create a RCV online incident. and I'll leave the description blank. I'll then choose the issue type that I want to associate with the incidents, RCV online incident, right? So if I minimize this, you will see that the, the issue types that were there by default and the one that I created, service request online, service request RCV online is available here. Let me minimize more. Okay, let me close it and then start incident. And then if I scroll down here, you will see this add default service request issue type. Okay, so if I say add default service request issue type, then default service request issue type, that is system issue type, will get associated with RCV online incident. But we want we, do, we are not creating the request type for a service request. Let's go back and then here what I'm doing is I am creating a issue type for incident. So I was in the service request. I can also create a request type for incident. I can create a request type for problem or any other work categories that are available here. So if I go to incident, click on create request type, the process will be absolutely similar here. If I say add default incident issue type, so incident issue type will be system incident issue type will be added. So not necessarily you are required to create issue type from scratch. Many of the issue types you will be able to find by default within the Jira system itself. So let's create a new request type using the system issue type that is there as an in incident. OK, so let me maximize it. So I'll click on create issue type, create, uh, sorry, create request type. There is a bit of, you know, issue type and request type, but issue type, then request type, issue type maps to request type, and then request type maps to the portal. Okay. So let's create this incident one. Okay. So I'll say RCV online 
incidents okay and then i'll scroll i'll say for example i want to change so let's say use this icon here and save it okay so you'll see the icon has changed and then use workflow and fields from the particular issue type whichever you will choose from here so if i scroll down or click on it you, i'll simply click on add default incident issue type i can also go back to issue type from project management create a new absolutely new issue type and then use that here as well but i'll because incident type issue is available in the system so i'll use that and then click on next and now here you will see that as soon as i am going to create a request type i need to basically it will i'll be asked whether i want to add it in any portal group or not right i want to add it in the portal or not so then i can add it in the existing portal group or i can click on create group to add a new group right so i'll say rcv online incidents okay I'll create a new group and then I will create this request type into a new group, right? So now this particular request type will be added into the new group. Now what we have to do is the next step is to customize the field, the request form of the incident. So we have here the instruction summary, okay? And in the right hand side, we have different other fields that we can add to this request form, okay? So I will simply say, for example, I want to have a, a or I want to also add the components, okay? I want to have the description, right? And I want to add the employee location, okay? So these fields will then be available into the request form for the request type that I have added just now for incidents, right? So you can basically, it's easy to simply drag and drop and customize the field. If you want absolute new field that is not available in this list, you can go ahead and create a new field, but your Jira administrator will help you to do that, right? So once you are done, okay, customizing the form, simply click on save changes and you will see request type has been updated. RCV online incidents has been successfully updated. Now, if you go back to the portal okay let's go ahead and refresh it so now you'll see rcv online incidents group is there if i expand this you'll see rcv online incident request type is there if i click on it right it will open the page the form the custom fields that we have created basically the updated that we have uh, updates that we have done so we have location we have description components so new fields that we have added into this particular request form is available here and this request form or basically this request that we have created takes what it it basically follows the workflow for the issue type that is there within the system right so in order to see what all workflow and so from here we'll simply we have created an incident right within the work category incidents and this is the incident uh, the rcv online incidents that we created so it will again open that same request form if you for for example you want to edit it this will this is the area where you will edit and then in the workflow status you will see what workflow is being followed if you click on workflow view workflow you will be able to see the full workflow that is being associated with this particular incident right so this is briefly about the request types in jira service management how you can create a new request type okay or assign a, an existing request type how you can use the issue type against the request type right so issue type map to the request type and request type is then visible on the customer portal right so i have explained all the hierarchy and how you are going to do it into jira service management product so that's all for this particular tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching